We welcome you back. President Obama finding himself in the middle of two very hot button issues today. They are his health care reform efforts and his comments about police acting stupidly in the arrest of a Harvard professor. We're joined this morning by political analyst Tom Serafin. And let's start with the Cambridge situation. It seems to be ballooning and ballooning by the day. Well, it is because it's out of the norm for for Barack Obama. He, he ran on the post-racial uh, theme, and even Bill Cosby yesterday, the, the comedian, said, well, I was surprised he got into this racial issue, but I was listening to WVON this morning, mm -hmm. and the callers were calling in and talking about the reality of being black in America today, and this is a catalyst for that discussion. Yes. And uh, remember, our attorney general said a couple, a couple months ago, maybe three months ago, that we were all cowards for not talking about race mm -hmm. uh, publicly. So, I think there's probably some good here. I think he was premature on this situation in, in Cambridge. I think he, when, when all the facts come out, you're going to see that this uh, professor was probably wrong in what he did, and maybe the officers were wrong in going too far. Yes. I mean, there's, there's two yeah. sides of the story. So the president overstepped his bounds, but I thought he felt comfortable in that moment because he's losing the health care battle. Mm -hmm. And in this issue, he could be strong. And he, and he broke, you know, he wasn't on a teleprompter. Right. And he's on teleprompter all the time. When he speaks off the cuff, that's when he's always gets himself into hot water. And that's not, I mean, that seems to be the case with a lot of politicians, right. presidents. But the beauty of what they've done with Obama is that he's been on teleprompter since early September. And he's perfect. I mean, his message has been perfect all the way through. Mm -hmm. Now he's getting into rough water, you know. So Let's talk about that health care plan. Uh, early on in the Clinton administration, similar, but not exact, same thing, went down to defeat. He said it was one of his one of his issues here, and I know maybe they're apples and oranges, but it is something that a lot of Americans are having trouble digesting. Well, there's so much coming at us. You know, we, we have the stock market crash. Uh, we have more taxes coming at us. They're talking about the stimulus, and where is the stimulus? I mean, nobody feels the stimulus is working. Where are all these shovel-ready jobs? I mean, mm -hmm. there's been a lot of promises coming out of the Congress and the White House, and we haven't felt anything yet. And when we see it coming at us, that the same people that gave us the post office gave us the war in Iraq, are going to give us health care. We're wondering, you know, maybe, you know, we ought to go slower go slow. here. You know, people didn't read that bill at first. And now a thousand pages, people are beginning to read these things. This morning, the Rasmussen will release their poll in another hour. His approval rating for the first time since he's been president is at 49 percent, mm -hmm. under 50 percent. So the, the, the public is beginning to say, hey, you know, maybe you ought to go a little bit slower, you ought to do this. It's not going to get done by the August recess, uh, August 6th, August 7th. And so people are going to come home, the congressmen are going to hear from us, hear from other people, and they're all going to be concerned if the health care system is going to be the same system and the same geniuses that gave us Washington, D.C. bureaucracies. It's, you know. it's interesting, everybody's saying, go slower, go slower, go slower. In the meantime, the Obama administration, everybody's saying, have more patience, the economy is going to take time. So It, it, it will take, <laughs> and, and they're right, it's going to take some time. But you know how we are, we have an appetite, we have to do everything quickly right. here in this country. Uh, that's stimulus this package. You know, we're still looking at some uh, terrible numbers coming out on unemployment. Uh, we still have the first two, two quarters of next year of negative growth, probably. So we've got a lo long way to go. And dropping health care on top of this, it's like carrying all this weight and all of a sudden somebody says, hey, let's pick you up. Take another 100 pounds and carry this up the steps for you. Hey, Tom, we got to go, but is Dan right. Hines going to run for governor, yes or no? He's going to announce in August. Uh, he's backing into this thing. He's been around for 12 years. He's always refused to take that next step. This time, the governorship is coming to him. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got a very well-known dad, and Tom Hines has got a lot of friends out there. Raised $900,000 in money. the last quarter. Yeah. He's got $4 million. He's got $3 million more than Pat Quinn. It's going to be a good race. Tom Serafin. That's a yes. Yeah, that is a yes. <laughs> we do appreciate your time.